feel like your pants are falling down. Yeah, it's like... Do you look like you've got a problem, to be fair? Are you recording? No, I don't. You're a liar. Just turn around. Yeah, saggy, saggy bottom. Saggy, you told, you said, saggy bottom syndrome. You said you preferred me in these pants than my own skirts. Um, I don't think I've ever said that to you. No. Outright, outright lie. They look dry now. You can have that seat. Which chair you sitting on that one? Well, yeah, because that's wetter. You trout. I learn from the best. Well, I must admit, I'm a very good teacher. <sighs> yeah. Top quality trouter. Oh. Well, I'm just going to get myself a cup of tea when my kettle boils. Then we start talking about 2024. I'm going to show folks my best side. Is that my best side? No, turn around, turn the chair around that way, face that way. I am facing that way already. No, with your back to the camera, it's your best side. <laughs> Swam. So it's 2000, as I said, 2024. Happy New Year to our members, would you say? Well, I'm recording now. What he said. Really throws herself into it. This has been scripted, folks. We've spent days on these wordings. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so every every January, I always do a little what I call a um. Oh, come on. What do you call it? A chat. No, no, you call it something else. Sh shack, shag, shack chat. <laughs> Stop it. Shack chat. Shack chat. And I discuss possible what I may do for the year or. Any other thoughts that come to my mind? And so this year, there's no different. It's the seventh of January. We're past. What was that Christmas thing about Manx? What Manx New Year? Oh, we went to a thing at the local pub on Saturday night, and they were doing Manx Christmas carols. Um, but it, it was the tradition. I think it was either Christmas Day or New Year's Day. I'd never heard it before, and I've been in man all my life. It sounded really, really nice. Proper choir. Lovely. Didn't under, didn't know, didn't know one of the carols. You Some, did. It's not. It's just fellas from Yorkshire. No, but they did sing one that you got really giddy. Dingy dongy dingly. Or no. Ding dong merrily and high. Come only faithful or something. Didn't do that one. It's ding dong merrily and high. Oh, is it that one? Yeah. You know, with me ding dong. Keep talking. I get me tea. Come. Tell them what you're going to do this year. What I'm going to do. We're going to do, tell them where we're, walks we're going to do with the glens. Oh, you're so bossy. Um, so I've started to do some bike rides. It's just a personal thing. On uh, old Manx pubs. Because there's that many of them. So the other day I took it upon me to go for a nice ride um, down Castletown. Spotted a building that's still there that was derelict, but it's re-loved now. Um, so that's something I'm going to do. And on these rides, I do find Fultons that, luckily, Ray has never actually found, so it's always nice. Don't stop. I have nothing to say. I'm, I'm not gobby <laughs> like you. Nothing to say, folks. I've, to I've told them about my bike rides. Have you? Yeah. Peel will be the most interesting one. I won't really be able to cycle it, as there's 47 pubs in Peel. Not now, there isn't. Well, there was. You'd never get home, would you? 47. 47. You'd literally go out of one door and in the other. So I'll do that one and I will do it on my bike. But I do, like I commented on someone's, uh, they'd commented on my post about going through a, a pub crawl around Castletown <laughs> and that he'd never managed to stop. And when I put it into perspective of me doing this, I am actually standing outside people's houses and shops, just staring at them and then taking pictures and walking off. You've always done that, though, haven't you, to be fair? So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm still going to be that classed as that weirdo, but I don't mind. It deters people from hanging around with me. Yes, they've got to be really special hanging around with you. <laughs> Just like you. And I'm very special. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, if she's there, fill you in. We are planning to do Colby Glen, because that was rather a pleasant walk we did there one day. We're going to go down Doon Glen to the beach. That'll do 
big stretch of a one, isn't it? What's the other one at Mackle do you want to do? Which other claim was it? Called uh, Ballaglass. Ballaglass, yeah, we're going to do that yeah. one as well. We also need to do Port Moore. Oh, yeah. It's not a glen, but there was some, um, like, Thalton monuments built on the beach, whether they're still there or not, but it's a nice walk around the coast, and then you get to this little beach, which has got a little Fulton on it, and this reeling-in system that used to reel in the goods from oh, their Oh, yeah, there's a winch on the beach, isn't there? Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah. And then as you walk up towards Mackle Church, you've got your uh, kiln there, and there's another kiln round the corner. And there's a load round Mackle, actually. Yeah, weird place, Mackle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to do the Croit, which is uh, in Thalty Will, one of the ones you can visit. And also, we're going to Block Erie Dam and Block Erie Thalton, because that's one of the last ones we've done. Need that's to do one I'm Thalton. trying to avoid, really, because it is dangerous and Ray doesn't care. He's had his days, like, but, you know, still young chicken. <laughs> As you keep slipping. And we were supposed to, today, do Glenroy, but sort of changed it's going to be tomorrow now and the weather was a little bit icy this morning and so mm -hmm. we give it a miss because it's up on the hills but there's three or four little videos we're going to do in Glenroy we've been given permission to do which is great got to do another uh, thought and walk in Glen May you know up to the keel from uh, Glen May village and then there's some um, I think it's a miners cottages up there miners buildings up there isn't there quarry buildings um, on the side of the hill up there, there is. Well, you said this, but I don't know where you're talking about. Yeah, well, there's a quarry men's cottages in the in below, the road, yeah. but they're up on the opposite side of the hill, there's some, some other buildings. Oh, the officers? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I've not been able to get it up in there because it's all overgrown. Yeah, you need to do that before it gets into the summer. Yes, really. so we do. And also we need to go up and do the one up here called Woodscroft or Dream Beery. Oh, yes. So there's that one to do as well. <laughs> we usually try and do about 20 videos a year. That's our sort of scale. We've got 70 on YouTube, I think, between us. And uh, it's great when we go out, but could you talk to us and give us suggestions of where to go? Mind you, I've been told where to go quite a few times, to be fair. I'm good at telling you where yeah, to go. Yeah, you've said that as well, so I'm not so fussy about that. We've been being this morning, getting some stuff. Great. <laughs> he loves being q Got accosted by a gentleman from Hong Kong who wants me to do some shows for his people. And he said they're even older than you. He said, "How do you take that?" Really? And you mentioned that I'm a speaker. I'm no, no speaker. I can stand there. You look pretty. <laughs> Just have a work on it. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so what else? Yes. Well, we've also got the lambing coming up because now we're into New Year. The geese are sitting on or making their nests, so there'll be goslings galore, I guess, again. Maybe a meg lambs to look after. So the year just carries on, and when you're farming, and I'm only doing it, you know, in a small way, there's no day that there's not something you have to or need to do. And it's mm. a great purpose, great, it gives you the purpose. Because as you get older, you can quite easily just sit around and dwindle away. But You've got your planting of your... <coughs> Flowers to do, bulbs well. to do. Yeah, put yeah. them all up yeah. for the bees. Yeah, for the bees. It's a joke, there, folks. We're not going to go into it. Now, what else we're going to do? Well, we we quite often because we don't go on holiday very often, rarely anyway off the own. We usually do some hotel stays, so we're going to stay in the big city, Douglas. Stay in one of the hotels there. Yeah, and then we're going to do Ramsey. I'm going to go to Laxey. Laxey. Oh, and that one out of Santon. Oh, with Thomas. Oh, and we did go to Bright Life. If anyone had the absolute joy of seeing Ray in a dressing gown, Bright Life was amazing. And we both did Reiki for the first time, which was just what an experience. Really good. I recommend it totally. I've never had a massage in my life. So this was my indoctrination. And uh, she. Carla booked a Reiki for herself, but I think it was in the same room, so because she was having a Reiki, I got reiki It's Reiki. Reiki? Yeah. Well, you, you can be reiki if you want. It felt like it'd been reiki to be fair. <laughs> and I'm lying there, and this woman doesn't really touch you very much, just hovers over you. And uh, you feel like a bit of a fool because you have this out-of-body experience, and you're drifting all over the place. It's like 
been wide awake but dreaming. And you think to yourself, is this real? Well, have I taken something? And we both woke up at the same time. And I looked at her and tentatively said, how, how did you feel about that? And she was a bit tentative. It was okay. Before we actually admitted that we'd been hallucinating and dreaming and drifting all over the world, it was okay after that, wasn't it? It was. But to then we felt a bit stupid. Like, Why did I thought, I can't say that. Sounds like my mushroom. Well, even the girls that we had the massage and breaky from, they just left us to it. And I think they, they could tell that we, we'd experienced it properly. So they went out to get us some water and then me and you did say, did you see anything? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird, you know, people sit in a field and they, they have trips all over the place and in their mind. But this was just really crazy. Yeah, I mean, I had did no preparation for massaging or Reiki, so I have no idea what it was about, which I think is the best way. No, well, neither did I. I, I thought Reiki was um, just like a head massage. I, well, I thought it was gardening, to be fair. <laughs> There is that picture of you when you're at Bright Life and you're stood out staring at the sheep through the window with your dressing gown on, figuring, what on earth am I doing here? Where's my land? I'd rather be out there with me sheep. <laughs> Food was good, far too much of it. But uh, we are going back. But we are going to go back. And the beauty of it is if you spend your money in the Isle of Man, much less hassle than getting on the boat or the plane. Yeah. You can come and go as you like. We've got animals to look after, dogs. Mm. Now we've got a cat and oh, the sheep. Yeah. So we have to actually be around more. So having like a weekend or just a night away is really good. It is actually. It just breaks up the norm of yeah. everyday life. Yeah. I'm such a homesick person. I went away to Benidorm, didn't I? <laughs> I'm totally homesick. I don't know why I go away at all, really. Yeah, well, I enjoy you going away. It's, it's nice. I enjoy you going away. Oh, well, we both go away. We maybe <laughs> do it together sometimes. Oh, you're going away next week. <laughs> yes, away on a jolly boys oh, outing. Not for long enough, though. <laughs> So I, I was reminiscing, I don't know if you, <laughs> Facebook's quite good for bringing up memories. And two years ago, I sat up here and did this, wasn't it, January 2, 2023? It was actually, yeah, and I hadn't watched that video. And it's only when I, I met you in the March, you said, oh, have you, do you not watch these? I was like, no. <laughs> I thought, typical. <laughs> I heart out. What would I watch that for? But it was interesting because what I've said, sat down and said on this video is, this is the last day before lockdown. Ah, right, yes. Two years ago. Two years ago. I don't know where I got the right date, but that was what I had. Yeah. And, and the world did, has come upside down since then. Mm. But I'm not commenting on today because people get quite irate at my opinions. I'm just going to get some more logs. Okay, logger. Nice pants. Fire's going out in there. <clears throat> I was meant to get the poker. Eh? The logs are from our own little store. We've got a whole pile of pals to cut up, so if there's a quiet day, there's always something to do. I seem to remember the last time we did one of these videos. I'm always the one that's stoking up the fire. Where well, you sit there drinking tea. Well, you're a good stoker. I've seen all your videos. You know, you're a fire maker. What's the word? Fire starter. Fire starter. <laughs> I should have got you some jump leads for Christmas, shouldn't I? You're yeah. always good at starting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not much good at finishing. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks for bearing with our little ways. Um, we only do it for fun, we don't do it for anything, remuneration. And um, we'll carry on doing it as long as we can, as long as people will let us. We're lucky enough to be able to go to places others don't get to, and people trust us to do what we need to do and say. And it's quite an honour, really, to be actually able to do that. Oh dear, is that one up in Druidale as well? At the end of Druidale Road? Mm. Mm. Yes, Lassie, look. bring it round here. She does like the fire, doesn't she? Oh. Good girl. She doesn't, does she? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, sugar. For goodness sake. That's in the hedge. Yeah. I'll keep them busy for a little bit, won't it? So, it's been, I reckon, 
two months of solid rain up here. We have had a lot of rain, yeah. And this is the first real two dry days I've seen on the spot. And um, we thought we'd make the most of today when the sun is out. I see there's rain cloud over there though. It's a shower about, but I don't mind showers. I was thinking when I went for my cycle the other day, <coughs> I, he I set off and I went up over Arch Allegan. And I was looking towards south and there was a big massive grey rain cloud. And I was like, oh God, do I turn back because the bike was fl playing up as well. And normally, the old me would go, oh, forget it, I'm going home. But I had a mission to go and find these places. So I stuck with it, and every time I turned round, the rain cloud was away from me, you know, behind me or whatever. It just caught up with me as I was coming home. I got a couple of spots of rain on me. That's what. And made it home. That's what they say when, you know, the world works with you. Yeah. We, we have a great motto, the both of us, don't we? If it's meant to work, it will do. Mm. If it's not meant to work, it won't work. There's no point in worrying about it. If it's not right, it's meant to be like that. So mm. rather than try and make it right, it's just to go and do some nice. Today, as Carla said, we're going to go and do a video. But it just didn't seem right, felt right. It was a bit... Icy. Yeah, we don't, we don't force anything. And I always do things in threes. And if it's not worked by the third time, it's not meant to be, no matter what it is. <laughs> so how do you work me out then? Never given someone so many chances in their life. <laughs> God. Well, there is a bit of an age gap. Yeah, but you'll pull through. <laughs> I'm going to bear with you. <laughs> well, I hope not. I don't really get them going. Oh, the sun's gone. Behind the clouds. Yeah, that's all right. Is it? Oh, thank God for reassuring me. I wish I brought my hat. You can borrow my purple one, Gozi. My coat. I've got my hoodie. Look what you're with. Um, <laughs> I'm quaking. Oh, it's actually nice this. I look forward to being out here in the summer and doing burgers and steak. Oh, and Ray cooked me some food on New Year's Eve for the first time. Didn't you? I bloody did. It was, it was delightful. Hot Took noodle me. with a one inch extra of hot water, which was more like a water noodle, but you know. Fussy. Two years we've been together nearly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Two years. Mm. And I've had one pot noodle out of you. Wow. It's more than any other woman's had. All I can say. God, don't even say I have to think myself lucky. Teamwork, nice one. Teamwork. There's no teamwork in I. <laughs> so I'll lash up a few photos to go with what we're going to do so you'll see something idea of our future plans. And uh, come with us on the joint or on our journey. We do YouTube and we do Facebook. We'll have to do a bit of the cycling things again. Um, I have to figure out some sort of app on my cam on my phone because we can't set up your camera. Well, you can get these GoPros, can't you? If you want to do that. Well, maybe I should do that because there are some fault ones we could just cycle to. You know, especially round Glenroy, there's those ones on the road. You know, with the well at the side of the road. There's a load to see there as you just cycle. I think that'd be quite nice. Well, I wonder if we can get the GoPro and put the mics to the GoPro. Have to try. Some people put them on their head, don't they? On the on the helmets. Yeah. That's me putting a GoPro on my helmet. You see. Yeah, I'm going to answer that. Here comes the sun. <laughs> Got your shoes on, all right then. <laughs> I'm not going to put that in the video. I am. This morning, <coughs> we woke up. I had a really good sleep actually. Doing the old, um, since it was supposed to be the Manx New Year at the weekend, I've decided to do Manx New Year dry January rather than 
the normal one. So yeah, anyway, starters. Had a really good sleep. Ray had a good sleep. And he got up, just getting dressed. <laughs> and he just couldn't fasten his pants up. And I'm like, he's like, oh, you silly bugger. What's the matter? I put my jeans on inside out. And I'm like, oh, just a word of advice, Ray. When you take them off, take them off neatly and put them in a pile. Okay, so that drama happened. Downstairs we go. So here's, here's the thing about happening in, in threes. Downstairs we go. We need to set off and take Sammy to school. He's got his big thick socks on that he's got on now. He comes to put his shoes on. He fails to remember that he's tucked his sockies in his shoes and can't get his shoes on. So then he's cursing again. Oh, please, shoes. I'm like, it's not the shoes, mate. But it doesn't stop there. We drop Sammy at school. We hop out at ShopRite, which is turning into Tesco now, by the way. And um, he's like, I've got a really sore back and he starts to adjust himself in the car park. He's only twisted his belt right round, so it's <laughs> banging into his back while he was driving. And I'm like, oh my God, can you just get dressed before you leave the house? Bless. Don't you dare edit that out. I might have to speed it up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you see what i have to put up with you only know the half it folks because i'm not a complainer as you know <laughs> what not a complainer oh look they give me a stick thank you doggies <laughs>